Building in Minecraft isn't as hard as it seems. I'm Erica, and I know it can look intimidating at first, but there's actually a pretty simple formula for taking your builds from this to this in just a few steps. The best way to learn how to build is to just build a lot, so I'd recommend making a super flat world in Creative where you can go ahead and test out all of the techniques you learned before you implement them into your survival world. If you find any of these tips useful, make sure to leave a like, and don't forget to comment anything I missed down below. Let's get into it. The first thing that you can do to instantly improve your builds is to make sure you're keeping the function of the build in mind before you even place a single block. Thinking about what kind of space you want to create before you start building is the first thing that you should always keep in mind as it determines how the structure will be used and what purpose it will serve in your world. This helps to keep building more satisfying as every time you create a new build in your world, it instantly has its place in your gameplay rather than just being something pretty to look at. For example, creating a village or town of different interesting houses might be visually pleasing for surrounding your base, but if each of those buildings have their own unique usage, like one for storage, a farm, enchanting building, etc., it makes it a lot more satisfying to create as you'll be able to to use and enjoy these builds in your everyday life instead of them being just there for the aesthetics as soon as they're finished. Utilizing different materials in your build is a great first step in terms of what you can do when you actually start building. A house like this, made out of only one material, is very bland and doesn't have very much visual variety to look at, but even adding in two different materials to this base makes it look just that little bit more appealing. When thinking about what blocks to use for your build, you can pick out a few blocks you think would look nice together on your own, or use websites like blockpalettes.com to help you pick out a cohesive palette. Right now, even though we have different types of blocks and colors to look at, this build still feels pretty flat overall. Something that we can do to help this is to pop out different parts of the walls or foundation to add a little bit of depth. For this build, I'm going to make three simple changes to give it a little bit more depth. I took the logs on the corners and moved them out a block diagonally, and then I went and added a porch to the front and the back of the house and raised the foundation to give the footprint of the house a little less of a square shape. These changes will make the house a little bit more interesting to look at as it's not just one flat wall anymore. Something else that you can do to make your builds a little bit better is to give them some shape variation. A house like this is alright, but just by adding an extension here and pushing a wall back there, we can make the shape much less boxy and a little bit more realistic. Houses in real life usually aren't just one square shape, so I try to avoid this when building for the most part. Of course, like any of these tips, sometimes it's okay to stray from the rules of building, depending on the type of structure you're creating. But for now, these are just some general guidelines for you to follow to help you improve your builds. I also went ahead and added in a partial second story. After those changes, the shape of our build looks much more like a real house and less like a wooden box. The last thing I did here was add in a small chimney for a fireplace. Something else that can add some more visual variety is to mix up the blocks that you're using. For big areas that are using one block alone, it can be nice to mix and match in some similarly textured blocks to make the wall look a little bit more organic. Unless you're going for a super polished and perfect look, most walls in real life are not completely flat or the same texture. For example, if you're building a wall out of stone brick, you can add in different variations of stone brick, regular stone, smooth stone, or even cobblestone to different parts of the wall. Doing this really makes these kind of big, flat walls pop and just look a little bit less bland. Another example of this could be applied to if you're making a walking path. Instead of just path blocks, you can mix in gravel, mud, coarse dirt, and grass to make the path look just that little bit more natural and lived in. One of the most defining parts of a Minecraft build is its roof. The roof that you choose can change the style of the build a lot, so it's important to know what you're going for before you start. I usually start by looking through different real life and Minecraft architecture examples on Pinterest and finding a style or type of roof that I like. After having the style that I'm going for, then I can get started. For this video, we're going to just be adding in a pretty standard roof using stairs, but if you like a more in-depth tutorial of a wider variety of roof types, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. The roof I made here is pretty simple. It's just made out of some sort of lining block like a stone or whatever you use for your foundation, and then an inner block that is usually something similar to the main color that you use to build your wall. Since I use regular oak planks for most of the build, I'm going to be using spruce for the roof to add in a little bit more color variation, so it's not all made out of the same material. Windows like this may seem alright, but we can do a lot better. The first thing that you should always do with the windows in your builds is to replace the full glass blocks with glass panes. Glass blocks almost never look better than panes for basic windows, so try to stay away from using them in your builds unless you're completely sure that they're the right fit. After changing the glass to panes, you can also choose a different type of stained glass to use instead of just the base ones, but we'll just stick with the basic panes for now. One thing that I like to do to spice up the window designs is to add in a little overhang outside. We can do this with just some fence posts and stairs, and it makes the window look like it's actually built into the wall instead of just being a random cutout with glass in it. We can also add in some dormers, which are little windows that come out on the slanted side of the roof. I do this just by cutting a hole into the roof and then making a small insert where we can put our glass. Makes the roof look a little less flat, you know? The last thing that you can do to easily improve your house is to add some landscaping to the outside. We can do this by adding in some trees of whatever biome you're in, growing back any grass we've knocked down along the way, and maybe even digging a little pond. Something that I like to do if you're building a house that's a little bit more rustic looking like this one is to add some leaf blocks hanging across the top of the building. I think it looks really cute and just brings another color onto the structure. I also like to add little paths from all the builds in my world, so I can go ahead and add one of those out of just path blocks and gravel. Along the path, I place some lamp posts I made out of a stone wall block, little fence posts, the lantern, and a couple trapdoors. Taking your builds from this to this 
this doesn't have to be hard. Let me know if there are any building tips you want me to talk about next in the comments down below, and make sure to subscribe on your way out. Bye!